y'all welcome back to my channel my name is anna for those of you who don't know me and for those of you who are returning welcome back today we are going to be discussing all things fall both new trends and old trends and just things that we normally tend to do when this time of the year comes around so if you're interested stay tuned okay so the first trend is really just a continuation from spring summer i discussed it in my spring and summer um trends video and that's gonna be sequins, bows, basically everything glamour. We're still in a glitz and glam. We're still, we still want some spunk in our fits. And um, a great way to do that this fall is through metallics. I've seen um, golds and silvers being paired together, but also some really, really pretty colors. Um, pinks, greens, blues um, as metallics, and they're super, super pretty. Um, What's interesting about this fall is that we're gonna have pastels kind of transition with us into the fall. Usually those stay in, in the spring and summer, but this year we're gonna um, pair those with like deeper colors for cute transition looks. Um, for example, like if you have a, a lighter purple, like a lilac, you can pair it with this deep purple overshirt that I have here in the back. Um, and that'd be a cute way to be spontaneous and be, um, what's a good word? I feel like we need playfulness in our clothes, you know? I discussed it in my, in my previous video that everything has just kind of been like blacks and neutrals basically, and we want color. So we're continuing that color through the fall and I'm so excited. Okay, so another trend that's kind of continuing into the fall is gonna be the Y2K trend. Um, and so through that, we've seen a ton of cargos, um, skirts, pants, shorts, it really didn't matter. You know, cargo is super on trend right now. Um, and to coincide with that, we're seeing um, thrifted looks. So pieces that are thrifted or even if they look thrifted, um, that whole kind of like, you know, back in the day type of vibe. I personally, personally am not the biggest fan of the Y2K trend. I think that it just kind of looks a little sloppy at times and and not as put together but then again it could be the pieces that you know i've been seeing but i'm a fan of cargo skirts i think they're super cute but in terms of like the whole trend it can phase out after after this year and i'll be okay <laughs> okay so the next trend is probably my favorite and that's going to be statement boots i've recently gone through my closet and seen just how many pairs of boots i have and I will say it's getting a little sick, um, but I'm just a boot lover, especially for fall. Um, I think it just complements, you know, outfits really well and you're warm and you're cute and it just gets the, the job done. Um, but as far as like statement boots, a really good way to do that is through patterns and colors. So cowboy boots are super on trend right now. So I would say a, a good um, pattern cowboy boot would be super cute or um, an interesting colored Chelsea boot would be super cute. Um, I know Isabel Morant has these beautiful um, cowboy boots that I haven't been able to find a really good dupe for. Um, I've really just been on the hunt. So if you guys know some, please let me know. I have great pairs of boots from Zara. Zara's a good place to go for boots. Um, Ego, Official, Semi Shoes has some. I bought um, a white pair of boots I showed you guys. I'm not sure in which particular video I showed those to you. But I got those from Altered State. All of the boots that I have, um, I'll probably link down below if they're still available. Um, but yeah, this year we're just gonna try to stick to interesting boots just to kind of jazz up the outfit. I feel like when you're getting dressed, that's really what you're looking for is something to make you look like you put in effort even though you didn't that's my favorite thing to do the last thing i'm going to discuss is going to be um color blocking and i want to discuss that just because it's a great way to kind of transition from summer into fall um you can still implement those colors that we've been wearing thus far in the year and then um start to include darker or deeper colors um paired with them um i know that past i said past Whoa. I know I said earlier in the video that pastels um, are gonna be on trend this fall. <laughs> this fall, but um, that's a great that's a great um, example. So basically, if you have like a pastel purple, 
you can mix it with a deep purple such as this one in my background um to kind of give you like the best of both worlds or you guys understand what i'm saying just pairing like lighter colors with darker colors i feel like that's a great way to transition into fall so one of my favorite youtubers she included a um color wheel that kind of showed what colors complemented others and so i think it'll be good to kind of insert that for you guys just to show like what colors are adjacent from each other what colors are next to each other just so you can kind of get an idea of what would be best when you do color block um i think color blocking can be a little difficult at times just because for me at least like i'll have something in my head and then when i pair it together it doesn't always like turn out the best so after i watched that video it kind of gave me a better idea of what colors i should be looking for um but i do think that color blocking is a good way to add interest to your outfits um so yeah I discuss some trends that are like forever just fall related and that is maxi skirts or dresses um as we transition from mini skirts and mini dresses <laughs> um and then sweaters i've heard that like knit sweaters are out and maxi or not maxi i mean not um knit sweaters but knit dresses are out and um satin dresses are in it's not fall if you don't have a knit dress you feel me <laughs> like knit dresses will forever be in you know it's just that type of material it's just that type of weather maxi i mean um satin dresses are the new trend and they're cute but like when it's really cold outside you're gonna reach for a a knit material not satin <laughs> i've been saying that um knit is out and satin is in but i mean like let's be for real another item that i've been seeing a lot is clogs i think clogs are so cute i want a pair um i've been seeing a lot of them on asos um nordstrom has some cute ones um who else i'm sure i'll be popping up pictures and i'll definitely link everything down below but from what i've been seeing asos has a ton that are super cute and you know asos really is not that expensive so you can get the look for a decent price yeah so this was just my quick little take on 2020 fall trends um let me know what you guys are looking forward to and what you guys have been seeing i think what i'm looking forward to the most would be the boots um accessorizing my outfits this year because i've noticed that i don't have a ton of accessories i have you know a ton of clothes shoes things of that nature but I, I want more purses more jewelry hats belts things of that nature so i'm definitely going to start investing in those items um and i think the fall is a great time to start doing that just because you know that's when we start layering up so those items do come in handy um and then the next trend that i'm looking forward to which is always a fall trend is just oversized things um but specifically the oversized bags i want to see if i can find an oversized bag that I really enjoy enough to purchase. Um, and then I'll definitely let you guys know. You can follow me on Instagram. I have two pages. Oh my gosh, I haven't told you guys, but I started a personal styling business and the name of it is Anna's Approach. You can follow me on Instagram at Anna's Approach or you can visit Anna, annasapproach.com. I do have free consultations. I, I offer personal styling, um, photo shoots, and closet detoxing so if that sounds like something that you're interested in please do not hesitate to reach out to me i'll see you guys in my next video thanks for watching